Hello my lovely crafters, this is Crafty Sue 519 welcome to my channel. And today is my crafty hacks. And one of my favorite things to do is save paper, whatever. But especially something like mirrored cardstock or glittered cardstock, anything like that that's expensive and where you cover up most of it doesn't make much sense. So I have a deconstruction, deconstructed card here to show you what I do. So I have a regular card base, four and, a, four and a quarter by five and a half. And I cut a piece of mirrored card stock, four inches by five and a quarter inches. But then this is my top piece and everything underneath it is wasted. So, this is what I do. I cut it out. I cut it out and I'm left with this piece. Now I can use this on another card. I can cut die cuts from it. I can punch with my quarter inch punch and make um, confetti or glittered pieces to put on my cards or my butterflies and flowers and things. Lots I can do with this piece of paper. It would be totally wasted if I put it on without cutting out the center. Nobody's gonna know. Nobody's going to know. Just cut all these pieces and this one That's a piece of glittered car, cardstock to match that I cut from a piece that I was working with. And there you go, finishes off the card. Add a little bit, bit of bling and voila! You have extra mirror cardstock, you have a beautiful card. Simple, simple, simple. And that's it. Don't waste your cardstock. There's so much you can do with the piece. And you know what? Nobody's going to know. Nobody will ever know that you saved the paper from below. Now, one of my other favorite things that I use, and I don't know if this is available anywhere else, but a couple of years ago, I was buying card kits from Love From Lizzie, and she's in the UK. And I love her card kits, but I especially love that she sells what she calls peel-offs. And they're these thin little pieces of stickered mirror or glitter paper. And they're beautiful. Oh, I got a ton of them. I got a ton of them. Every now and again, and I'm not sure if she's done this in a while because I haven't checked because I haven't needed any, she will ship for free to the US if you buy 20 of these. And these are a dollar and a quarter a piece, and you get 30 pieces. And they're all different sizes. Let me get a lighter one. Maybe you can see better. The ones I have are all different sizes. You might be able to tell. This is maybe an eighth of an inch, sixteenth of an inch. You know, that some are tiny, very thin. Maybe that's all you need to decorate a card. So all I do let me not waste one of mine, since we're talking about wasting, is on some cards, I want a little bling around it, but I don't want to use a whole piece of um, mirrored card stock or glitter card stock. I just want to put a tiny little border. And I use these stickers. Now, like I said, I don't know if they're sold in a new in the US anywhere, name something else. I'm rushing because I have to go pick up my grandkids. But I just put this along the edge and it's not great because, like I said, I'm rushing. You can either put it against here or if you prefer, you can put it on the edge of your card 
So it depends on how you're making the card. You know, it, it, they stick great. They really do stick great. You just put it there and you've got a little border that looks like it's mirrored cardstock, but it's not. It's a sticker. <laughs> I love these things. I use them often. So those are just a couple of little tricks to saving your mirrored or, or glittered cardstock. And getting an extra piece when you are using a whole piece to do something else with it. How pretty would that be on another card? Well, you cut out some beautiful leaves since this is a green color or cut out little butterflies and flowers and hearts and whatever. I don't have a heart punch, a little heart punch, but um, quarter inch round punch. I do that sometimes when I wanna make a flat card. So hope you like these ideas. Maybe some of you are doing this already, saving card stock like that. Um, these peel-offs, like I said, are from, from Lizzie. I'll put a link to her page below if you want to check it out. Um, not sure how expensive it would be if you only bought a couple of them. She has tons of colors, different. She has, these are called pinstripe because they come in all different sizes, but she has straight peel-offs where they're all the same width. She has bubble peel-offs, sway, which is like, um, oh, I don't know, like an S shape all the way down. Um, she has circles, she has hearts, stars, and um, she also sells them in packs. So you can get packs with different colors in them. I always buy the single ones and just pick what I really want. And I've always picked just the straight ones because that's all I've used. So I hope you find this helpful. Quick, little, easy video for you today but I haven't done this in a while because I was away and just wanted to give you a little craft hack. Hope you have a wonderful wonderful day. Love yous. Bye.